I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. I like me better, I like me better. Hey y'all, so it is 5 p.m. I am checking in. We're gonna treat this like a foundation hunt video now because y'all don't realize how annoyed I was when I realized that that microphone was not on. Told my opinions and then realized you guys couldn't hear any of that. So it is 5 p.m. This is what the CC powder foundation is looking like on my face. Ooh, can I zoom in? Okay, we zoomed all the way in, but that is it. On my skin what i said in the footage that you guys can't hear my first impression was this is a it's like a cc bb cream tinted moisturizer but in um powder foundation form because i was hoping it would be like a dupe for the fenty beauty powder foundation because you know elf likes to dupe them some uh some products but oh not of course the battery's dying um but it's it was very sheer on the face you can see dark spots on my face you probably still see them but i do have you know other products other layers on my face uh, very sheer coverage it really felt like a cc cream um but just in powder form so i wouldn't necessarily say they're a dupe do let me know if you want to see it against the fenty foundation anyway i'll still do it but that was my first impression but now that i'm checking in i feel like you know my face is starting to get dewy she's I feel like because your skin is still showing through here, like there wasn't that much that you were working with, right? As far as the product goes, I feel like she's giving skin, like your regular skin. This is just what your face would look like if you didn't have product on, you know, how many hours into the day is this? Y'all know what I'm trying to say? Um, but I like it. Y'all know I like that natural skin-like finish, but I feel like she's starting to give a little, just a little too dewy. For me, I'm gonna check in um, before the end of the night though. So y'all, it is 7.17, this is my face looking like. Yeah, I feel like it's giving oilier than I would normally be, and I'm pretty sure I know why, because it's a powder foundation, and powder foundations are supposed to be more for people who have oily skin. Like I said before, it's a real, you know, sheer product. It's, you're still gonna see skin, it still gives a natural finish. What would be the actual description of this? Let's see, long wear, buildable formula with medium to full coverage. Natural to semi-matte finish. Great for all skin types, non-comedogenic, powder, sponge included, cruelty-free. Um, I feel like it's 
pretty spot on as far as the description goes. I'm pretty sure what the problem is, as you saw earlier in the video, I used the e.l.f. Putty Primer. I've, like I, oh, well, you didn't hear me because the microphone wasn't on earlier. I've tried every version of the putty primer. If I had to pick one, I would pick the matte putty primer. But if you notice, I don't use the putty primer often because like it's not my go-to primer. I had to change primer. Actually, the primer I've been using lately is that Power Grip that I did the video on from e.l.f. It's like a Milk Hydro Grip dupe type thing. Um, and this other primer from Ren Cosmetics Beauty, whatever you call it. Those are my go-to primers. Um, and I feel like that's what is throwing me off today because everything else on my face are the usual products as far as complexion products like same contour, same blush, same uh, bronzer, all of that same powder. Um, I feel like if I had used that on my face today then it wouldn't be giving as oily so it's like yeah I did switch it up a little bit so I'm gonna give the powder foundation credit for that but I mean hours later this isn't horrible but you saw like this difference between when I came back with the NARS natural radiant no light reflecting the one I just posted okay uh you saw the difference between when I came back with this, that one and when I'm coming back with this one and it's weird because it's a powder foundation but I like it I like it enough that I would try it with my regular regular go-to uh, make our routine see if there's a difference and like I said let me know if you want to see a video between this and the Fenty powder foundation so my thoughts on this one so far is that I like it I don't love it like I did that NARS one but this is enough to where I could try it again um, in another video I'll give it another chance just because there is something that I wasn't that wowed by as a product that I had on my face in combination with this um, and I want to give a quick little recap of the other products that I had on my face um, so when I tried the cookies and dreams collection earlier in the video my thoughts on that were that the products are similar to the other products that they already have uh, it's just uh, uh, the collection like you just have to look at the collection and think do you want that color story like for the eyeshadow palette the eyeshadows were very similar to other elf eyeshadows you just have to look at that palette and say do I want that me personally I don't really like the color story of the eyeshadow palette you know it's like you're only gonna have blue brown or maybe a black and white eyeshadow look from that and no no but the formula is the same same goes for the lip glosses you just have to look at the color and say do I like that the putty primer it's the same thing it's just in the cookies and cream packaging which the cookies and cream packaging would get me if, if you like the putty primer um, and you wanted it just for the packaging like that would get me for that um anything else i tried in this collection oh the eyeshadow duo sticks in that collection i don't really use that type of product from any brand so you know i was just looking at it like okay but again the formulas are all the same you just gotta look at that collection and say do i want this blue do i want that brown do i want that black so this is it for this video those are my thoughts on the products that i tried out i will have a little flash to oh i could blot a little bit see what's see what's going on here Okay, that's what it looks like. That's what my face looks like after. I hope seeing me test this out has helped any of you were thinking of checking it out for yourself. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, turn notification bells, all that. Guess where? Down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.